Hi, this is Roger. I'm back after a, quite a long break. I don't think I've ever had that many days without putting a video up, but with family round, priorities in a different place. <laughs> and it almost feels like this is a strange place because I haven't been out here much. Um, I had to water my mount yesterday morning, otherwise it would have been one day too long, basically. But apart from that, I haven't really been out here much. Spent some time out here with my daughter because she has the interest in the orchids. Um, the rest of the family don't, that's uh, up to them. But um, I think there's one new thing out here. There's, there's quite a bit starting to go over now. Um, but we'll just have a quick look round. The plan is today I'm actually going to film the um, resting dendrobiums and have a chat about how they're doing, how their rest is progressing. But effectively they are now in the middle of their resting period, so there's not much going on. Um, but it won't be too long, three or four weeks, and we should start seeing some buds on at least some of them. Um, so we'll see how we're going. Anyway, a quick look round. My um, <clears throat> Dendrobium moniliform has opened its first bloom. Um, this is strange, actually, because the Dendrobium moniliform, not the variegated kind, the normal kind, is classed as the plant that is typical for the genus. Um, well, yes and no. I'm <laughs> not sure I agree with that, but uh, anyway, that's, that's, this is the one, apparently. Um, there's more buds to come. There's quite a few. The trouble is with this one, it does do kikis. Um, so it's difficult to tell until you actually see it, the, the actual nubbin push forward and see it forming buds. But, you know, we've certainly got a few more buds to come on the older part of the plant. And the latest two new growths also have some uh, what are hopefully buds showing so we should have quite a few blooms on that in the, in the near future <clears throat> the tetragonum blooms have gone over but one has to be very careful not to cut the spike on these you can nip the end of the actual blooms off once they fade but the spike needs to stay because it can extend and re-bloom so take care if you've got one of those um, my little Arengus fastuosa the two spikes on that are pushing on that reliably pushes up two spikes a year, has been doing it for some years. But it now has a second plant attached to the base. Uh, you could call it a kiki if you like, or a plantlet. Um, but it's now effectively two plants, and the second plant should mature enough this year to bloom the following year. So hopefully more spikes on that one in future years. Um, I was asked a question about the... Um, twinkle that I got from Riddlington are the blooms larger than the normal twinkles well effectively this isn't a twinkle it's a hybrid it's a twinkle crossed back with sotoannum which is one of the parents so the blooms would naturally be a little larger blooms on sotoannum are larger than twinkle blooms although incredibly similar um, <clears throat> rhodostictum still hanging in there that, that'll be there for months um, the little um, Nora Tokanaga cross with Aberans these blooms are going now so i uh, be looking for new growths on that soon hopefully <laughs> that'll be good um, the Cattleya cernua blooms are going now got nowhere near as many spikes left um, this Tolumnia thingy <laughs> golden summit or other I always forget this one. Oh, I haven't got a tag on it either. It's um, oh, something like Golden Sun Ray or something like that. But um, these are branches, effectively. This is where the main spike was. That's been trimmed back. And these are branches. And where I trimmed the main spike back, it's branching again. So, uh, again, don't touch cut your twinkle spikes until you're absolutely sure they've turned a sort of straw colour and started to die back. They may well branch. And what is still outstanding is this Cattleya Angel Heart is still in bloom. Um, the spike up the back there, the first bloom opened on that on the 25th of October. It's still there. I don't think I've ever had a Cattleya last that long. A lot of that is just the cool temperatures because it's a winter blooming. Um, but given that this spike didn't open till about a month after that one. We've got this one for a long, long time. Um, and it's good, you know, because this is a quiet time of year. There's other buds coming on Cattleyas, um, that sheath splitting. Um, there's two, two sets of buds coming up on that plant. There's others. Um, the um, Brasso Cattleya, 
Brassolalia, I'll get there in a minute, make that, that's the buds are pushing up and starting to show, you know, proper bud shapes, so they'll be out in the not too distant future. My two Dendrobium Spring Dreamer pollens have both got good sized swelling buds on them now, so we should have some nobly buds soon, a little out of season. And uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but my um, Dendrobium Prima Donna nobly type has got buds on it on older canes. Um, so there will be some blooms and on that new cane up there. So there will be some blooms, um, but it won't be a mass blooming. Um, the Oncidium Twinkle Cinnamon variety, um, that's opened up a lot more blooms since you probably last saw that one. So that one's coming on nicely. Um, this, this little Dendrobium Latoria type, um, I forget what that one is, it's, uh, it's got Aberans in it I suspect and it's um, dry at the moment so it's going to fall over. Polysema cross with Aberans, so primary cross, that, that's still in full bloom. Um, that's a lot of spikes for a, for a plant like that. Um, the cinnamon, uh, bleh, the Twinkle Red Fantasy has opened up some more buds so that's, that's quite a blooming at the moment. Um, the parent of the, one of the parents of the twinkles, Soto Annum, that's nearly finished blooming completely now. Um, so I'll be looking for, a, hopefully, a shed load of new growths on that in the not too distant future. That'll be good. Um, <clears throat> the, oh, I'll have to, oh, let's get the big bush out of the way. <clears throat> Wherever that is, it's in the way. That lovely Mazda Valia, both blooms are open. They're looking really good. Um, that is a smasher, that is. That's um, copper wing. Um, virtually all of the um, Restrepias have got blooms on, all except one. And I'm not going to get this out at the moment because the blooms aren't fully open, but this little Mazda Valia has got something like eight spikes on it. Um, two of them look like they're going to open any minute. So we'll have a look at that. They're tiny. Um, and given that, I didn't, I wasn't sure of that when I got that, that was my first ever Dracula. Um, if they're going to be tiny little blooms, if it's a prolific bloomer, I may hang on to it, but otherwise I may pass that one on. Um, the Dracula Bella bud is uh, <laughs> swelling up nicely, and I haven't managed to knock it off this time, so that, that are good. Um, Nodding away down here in the breeze, the constant breeze, because it's a cool grower, is the Mazdavalia ignea. And it's just the colour saturation on that particular bloom that I like so much. Um, so they're hanging in there. They're constantly moving because it's directly in front of a little computer fan. Um, <coughs> the two Paphiopedalum buds at the back there. They're pushing on now, they'll be open in the not too distant future, and one of the others has got a bud just pushing out from the crown, so we should have three Paphiopedalum blooms down the line. Three out of six isn't bad, especially as two of them are rescues, and I don't expect them to bloom. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably about it at the moment. The, um, the big white vanda's still hanging in there, but it's fading, that'll be gone soon. Uh, <laughs> and surprisingly enough, that little little yellow cat here has still got its bloom on it. It's had that for ages. But again, it, you know, it, it's a winter thing. Cool attempts and all that. So that's sort of what's going on out here at the moment. Um, the Conico, Dendrobium Conico, those blooms are fading now. But I was surprised that bloomed in the first place. I'm more interested in this bit of the plant. All these new growths and they're still growing. That's the bit I'm interested in. The blooms were a bonus. Um, what else, what else, what else? Well that's about it as far as just sort of general things going on. Um, there may be more as I go around. I mean there's at least three other Tolumnias that have got spikes pushing on. One's got buds forming so there'll be some more Tolumnias in the near future. And uh, yeah, I hope you all had a good Christmas or holiday, whichever way you look at it. Um, I had a very nice Christmas present. I managed to get to 6,000 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> no, I'm not doing a giveaway. Sorry, but you're going to have to wait for 10,000. So you'll have to get all your friends in there. Come on. <laughs> Let's get it going. <coughs> but yeah, that'll be the next uh, big event. But um, yeah, I mean, it was, I think it was September time I hit the 5,000. So it's progressing quite nicely. I'm pleased with the progress. And um, 
I made a major mess up with my Facebook idea. I actually created a new Facebook account and left that as the actual item for you all to see. <laughs> Boy, did I get myself in a mess. What I didn't appreciate was that um, when you get a friend's request on Facebook like that, and you, you, you know, I just go through and confirm those. I'm not selective. If somebody puts in a friend's friend request, it is confirmed. But what I didn't appreciate it is once that happens, all the posts from that person's page start f coming on your page. Now, this might sound harsh, but it's the only practical way to do it, because I don't want to see other people's family and friends and outings to Auntie Flo's and all that sort of stuff. It's supposed to be an orchid Facebook page. Um, but the way to stop it is to unfollow those people. Um, and basically I had to go through nearly 300 odd and, and do that individually. There's no sort of bulk way of doing that. But now it's under control because it's any new friend requests that come in, I can confirm them and unfollow them in one go. So I'm on top of it now. Um, plus thanks for anybody who's actually put genuine posts on there that they have physically decided to put on that page. Those are the ones I'm after, the orchid related stuff. And I finally got round to sort of putting some answers in some of those because some were problem plants and questions. And that's what I wanted it for. You know, you can't put photos on YouTube. So it's difficult when you've got a problem with a plant. I need to see sometimes. You know, if it's just a culture thing, I can normally say from what plant is, but if it's a problem, it's, it, pictures just tell the story so well. So that's really what the Facebook thing was for. And I've now got on top of it. I'm in control of it, so it's okay. Down the line, I may change it. And either, to, uh, the trouble is I would have to write off what I've already done, but suggestions including from my family who use facebook a lot more than me would it would have it would have been better to set up a facebook group but if i do that now it will be starting it from scratch so everybody that's joined in with my facebook um you know as it is now will have to go and do it again which i, th I think that's a bit harsh <clears throat> so i'll probably just leave it as it is and the other alternative would have been to set up a facebook page attached to my account but I think I've gone too far and left it too late. So it will probably just stay as it is. And, you know, I'll keep on top of it. That's the easy way. Oh, and a couple of thank yous as well. Got a couple, some Christmas cards from YouTubers. I was over the moon. So thanks to Lena. That's the um, lady who sent me the yellow Miltoniopsis, which hopefully is going to bloom soon. And we'll, then we'll see what that one's like. And I got a card from John Greco. Thanks a lot, John. Hope you're doing okay because you've disappeared from YouTube, um, which is so, <laughs> can be a trifle worrying to us who don't know what's going on. Um, anyway, hi, hope you had a good break, although knowing the job you do, you were probably working most of it. Um, but I hope you're okay, everything's okay and your orchids are doing well. And uh, all is good in Barcelona, as they say. So, uh, yeah, a couple of thank yous there. And um, as I say, I'll leave this one at that. That's just some thank yous and basically what's going on. And the next video I'm hoping to do is, is take a, a closer look at the resting dendrobiums as an item, you know, just a, a specific video for those, including some of those that ought to be resting and perhaps aren't for certain reasons. You know the one I mean. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a good time and uh, <clears throat> I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for dropping by. Bye for now.